the intricate dance of global commerce. One player often goes unnoticed despite its crucial role, the logistics company. The invisible hand orchestrates the movement of goods from one corner of the world to the other, connecting markets and consumers across continents. Without it, the global trade we take for granted would grind to an immediate halt. So, what exactly is a logistics company? And how does it create these worldwide connections? This video delves into the fascinating world of logistics, unraveling the mystery behind its operation and its vital role in our interconnected world. What is the job of logistics? At its core, the job of a logistics company is to facilitate the movement of goods from their point of origin to their final destination. This includes activities such as transportation, storage, packaging, and distribution. Logistics companies work closely with manufacturers, suppliers, wholesalers, retailers, and other players in the supply chain to ensure that products are delivered efficiently and on time. Logistics is the backbone of global trade, enabling the smooth flow of goods from one country to another. In today's interconnected world, where production and consumption are no longer confined within national boundaries, logistics companies play a crucial role in connecting markets and consumers across the globe. The importance of logistics has only increased with the rise of e-commerce, with the growing trend of online shopping. Logistics companies have become even more essential in managing the delivery of goods to consumers' doorsteps. They are responsible for ensuring that products ordered online reach their intended destination quickly and efficiently. Immerse yourself in our previous video for a deep dive into the intriguing and bustling world of logistics. Different Types of Logistics Companies there are several types of logistics companies, each with its specific role in the supply chain. These include freight forwarders, courier and express delivery services, third-party logistics providers, and more. In the supply chain management realm, third-party logistics companies and freight companies often intertwine yet serve distinct functions. Not all logistics companies provide the same breadth of services as a freight company might emphasizing the diversity within this industry. Logistics management requires a comprehensive understanding of each moving part. And while freight companies focus on the transportation of goods, third-party logistics companies encapsulate a more comprehensive range of services, including warehousing, packaging, and distribution, forming an integral part of the broader supply chain management process. Let's delve further into the distinct roles of freight companies and third-party logistics providers within the intricate web of the logistics industry. Navigating through the myriad logistics responsibilities, the supply chain manager often finds respite in offering multiple transport solutions catering to diverse needs. These solutions range from freight transportation services provided by reputable ocean freight companies equipped to handle large volume shipments to storage facilities designed to preserve goods securely until they reach their intended destination. However, amid the complexities of the global supply chain, disruptions can occur, often manifesting in the form of unexpected delays, lost shipments, or fluctuating costs. In these scenarios, a robust logistics strategy is crucial to mitigate risks, ensure operational efficiency, and effectively manage the ripple effects of supply chain disruptions. What does the logistics industry do? The logistics industry is responsible for moving and managing goods from their origin to their destination. This involves various activities, including transportation, warehousing, inventory management, and distribution. Logistics companies are crucial in ensuring that products reach consumers efficiently and on time. They work closely with manufacturers, suppliers, and retailers to plan and execute the movement of goods across the supply chain. In addition to physical goods, the logistics industry also deals with information and financial transactions related to the movement of goods. This includes tracking shipments, managing documentation, and handling payments for transportation services. What are the types of logistics providers? Several types of logistics providers include freight forwarders, carriers, and third-party logistics companies. Freight forwarders. These companies specialize in arranging goods transportation on their clients' behalf. They work with a network of carriers to find the most efficient and cost-effective shipping solution. Carriers. These companies physically transport goods from one location to another. They can include trucking companies, rail operators, air cargo carriers, and shipping lines. Third-party logistics companies. These companies offer various logistics services, including transportation, warehousing, and distribution. They act as intermediaries between businesses and carriers to provide end-to-end -end supply chain solutions. Are you looking to elevate your logistics operations? If the answer is a yes, keep watching because we have just the solution for your needs. Affiliate Disclaimer Freight Chain is supported by our viewers. When you purchase through links on our site, we may earn an affiliate commission that helps keep our website and all its content. Thank you. Learn more. Overwhelmed by towering piles of paperwork? Say goodbye to these hassles as we introduce you to Motive. Motive is not just another tool, oh no, it's your golden key. 
unlocking a realm of frictionless shipping, unleashing efficiency and control like never before. Take hold of the future with Motive, powering your logistics easily and precisely and turning shipping from a chore into an absolute breeze. Check out the link in the description for more info about Motive. Types of Logistics Services Logistics providers offer various services to help businesses manage their supply chain operation. Some common types of logistics services include Transportation This involves the movement of goods from one location to another. It can include various modes of transportation, such as road, rail, air, and sea. Warehousing This refers to the storage of goods in a warehouse facility. Logistics providers offer warehousing services to help businesses store and manage their inventory. Inventory Management this involves tracking and managing inventory levels to ensure that products are always available when needed. Logistics providers use various technologies, such as warehouse management systems, to track inventory levels and streamline ordering. Order fulfillment. This includes picking, packing, and shipping orders to customers. Logistics providers help businesses fulfill orders efficiently and accurately, ensuring customer satisfaction. Distribution. This involves the movement of goods from a warehouse or distribution center to their final destination, such as retail stores or directly to customers. Logistics providers use various transportation modes and strategies to optimize distribution and minimize costs. Dive into our enlightening previous video to enrich your understanding of the fascinating world of logistics services. What is the difference between a freight broker and a 3PL company? There is often confusion between the role of a freight broker and a 3PL company. While both are involved in transporting and distributing goods, they serve different business purposes. A freight broker acts as an intermediary or middleman between shippers and carriers. They do not own any assets such as trucks or warehouses but work to connect shippers with carriers who can transport their goods at a competitive price. Freight brokers are responsible for negotiating rates and handling all administrative tasks associated with shipping, such as tracking shipments and processing paperwork. On the other hand, a 3PL company is a comprehensive logistics provider that offers a range of services beyond just transportation. These can include warehousing, inventory management, packaging, and distribution. 3PL companies own or lease their assets, such as trucks, warehouses, and equipment, to provide a full suite of logistics services for businesses. One key difference is that a freight broker typically operates on a transactional basis. They handle individual shipments for businesses as needed. In contrast, a 3PL company often works with businesses on a long-term basis, providing ongoing logistics support and services. Dive into our previous video to embark on an enlightening journey exploring the intricacies of logistics and transportation. Final Thoughts In conclusion, whether your business demands the transactional efficiency of a freight broker or the holistic, Integrated solutions provided by a 3PL company is primarily a function of your unique requirements and goals. As the world of logistics continues to evolve and converge with technology, it's imperative to leverage the right expertise to ensure that your goods reach their intended destination as efficiently and cost-effectively as possible. Thank you for investing your time in exploring and understanding the distinctions between freight brokers and 3PL companies with us. Your quest for knowledge motivates us to deliver comprehensive and enlightening content. Disclaimer, Freight Chain provides educational content only. It should not be taken as professional advice. You should always consult a freight shipping expert before making any decisions.